Some people have been wondering why I stopped talking or making videos on Fallout 76. And the short answer is I just lost complete interest and wanted to shift my focus to solely Red Dead Redemption 2, and I don't regret that decision for a second. Now, I've been critical of this game for months as Bethesda delivered one of the strangest and most bizarre marketing campaigns ever. And when I finally got to play the beta, I wasn't really impressed. But I do recognize the potential of this title and the fact that many of you are and have been having a blast with it. On Twitter, one user told me he was just really happy him and his wife could play Fallout together, and that's great. Gaming is subjective, some people like a game and others won't. I mean, there's a lot of people that still love Star Wars Battlefront 2 even after that whole mess. For me, though, I wasn't looking for Fallout multiplayer. I would have preferred a Fallout single player game alike to New Vegas with maybe a co-op feature. But that didn't happen because that's not what Bethesda wanted to create. Fallout 76 is a live service game, a title that will keep this franchise alive and going on for years to come until Fallout 5 comes about probably in the mid to late 2020s. But the big issue I have with this game Fallout 76 and one that much of the community has made complaints about is the poor communication. Fallout 76 has faced tons of controversy already. From the confusing E3 conference, which didn't properly outline what this game was, to no human NPCs, to no Steam release, to no modding until at the earliest late 2019, to massive bugs, which actually should have been expected, to Bethesda's launcher not working properly on PC, to the lore issues, to no offline mode, to not being able to see servers, and so on and so forth. Fallout 76 is a game that has already made many angry as some see it as a cash grab. And while the game has now officially been released and it already is being review bombed on Metacritic by fans, who just are not happy with this game. Now, real reviews from critics have not come yet, and being that this is a multiplayer game, I really don't know when to expect reviews from publications to start popping up. But from some of the impressions so far, it seems the overall feeling is mixed. And saying mixed may be nice. Like, Game Central went in on the game, saying Fallout 76 is peak Bethesda, shonky graphics, dumb artificial intelligence, fluctuating frame rate, and an insect house full of bugs. Ugly character creator, terrible animation, horribly loose combat, it's all there. But what's unfortunately not here is the charm and intrigue that makes you want to immerse yourself in a world regardless of its aesthetic shortcomings. Power Up says Fallout 76 does not get off to a great start, unable or perhaps unwilling to fully commit to either a single or multiplayer experience. The game is trapped in a strange middle ground. Whether played solo or with a group of friends, rarely does Fallout 76 actually provide a memorable experience. Instead, it's a messy, frustrating, confusing bore, and I think that's being kind. IGN's Adam Rosenberg saying, I still don't know if Fallout 76 is my jam, but I'm sure I won't be diving back in unless I have some friends at my side. And additionally, he stated this about playing solo. After around 15 hours, I'm feeling sure of two things. It definitely does work, but that doesn't mean it's a good time. Which again, these are just early impressions, but so far it's... Well, a lot of this. I've talked with some of the content creators in the Fallout community, and from what I've heard, even they have a mixed feeling with this title. Some are hopeful that this game will get better with time, and others just aren't happy and are disappointed with the game that Bethesda put out. Now, let's dive into what user scores and reviews are right now, and they're not good. It's important to note some of these reviews are real with people genuinely not liking the game and others, well, some people just are not happy that Fallout 76 is a thing. So far, the PC version of Fallout 76 on Metacritic has a 2.7 out of 10 based off of 475 plus user reviews and the review page is dominated by review scores in red with many zeros. WoW81 says, you know the book The Little Engine that could? Well, the engine in this game can't read the positive reviews in this list and you will know what kind of people will like this game. Remember the time when a paid streamer, a rapper, and two cartoon characters actually got shocked with how boring this game is? And I'm pretty sure he's referring to Ninja Logic and Rick and Morty, which just... Well, that was a complete disaster. But next, KYS underscore nation says, First impression was similar to losing my money in Bitcoin. This feels like No Man's Sky's first release, only you're stuck on the planet and the gravity is super strong. I really do want a KMS for giving these pricks my money. This is an early access game that should have cost $5 at max and not $60. Not sure about that. I would rather blow my money on Fortnite gliders than this. Atmos and graphics are good, but beside that, it's a dead world game. User Jaleo says, Me, I don't like online. Bethesda, don't you guys have internet? Which, 
yeah, that's a reference to the Blizzard mess with Diablo Immortal, but anyway, user, I'm not even gonna try to say that name, says, Why does an ocean, deep as a puddle, tries to facilitate the needs of both online multiplayer fans and single-player Fallout fans, and both portions of the experience suffer for it? An entirely PvP game or an entirely co-op game would have worked better. This just feels like an uninspired vessel for their amusingly well-fleshed-out microtransaction shop. Akuma Jack says, Awful, can't change FOV, FPS locked, PvP's a joke, buggy as hell, no NPCs, filled with fetch quests, Todd, why have you forsaken us? Morrowind was great. And user Raging Kira says, Basically, stolen co-op mode for Fallout 4, $60 game that uses 80% assets, textures, and animations from the previous game, works on a 19-year-old engine, and has a joke of an anti-cheat. Braindead story with literally no NPCs, survival is boring and simple, lore and history written by far more talented people, once again trash with clever ideas of a junior janitor assistant, just buy yourself scum or rust or daisy or any other cheaper and superior survival game. So as you can see there is a lot of hate in the air and for the most part people unhappy with the game are bombarding the score with zeros. Now besides just the PC version, the PlayStation 4 has a user score of 2.5 based off of 500 plus reviews which again it's a similar story. In the reviews with comments like where's Obsidian? when needed, and then to the Xbox One page, well, again, the same story. Although this score is much lower right now with a 1.9 out of 175 plus reviews, and again, comments like, this is not Fallout, this is garbage. Broken and pathetic attempt to milk the franchise. So as you can see, many fans are angry. Obviously, I don't think these scores reflect the actual game, but this is definitely a mixed bag. Bethesda's past single-player role-playing titles, Skyrim and Fallout 4, both drew some criticism, but for the most part, they were loved by most and you really could say that about almost all of Bethesda's past games. Fallout 76 is the first title I've seen where there is just a lot of people not happy for various reasons, not just because it's multiplayer, but because of Bethesda's failure to communicate with players what this game was really all about. From that debut trailer at the end of May, that's where the confusion began, and when it was revealed at E3 what this game was, well, there was a lot of angry gamers. Anyway, I was able to play some of Fallout 76 for a stress test, the actual beta, and now I've started to play the actual game, and my impressions are, so far, is that it's just all right. I understand that this game will garner a I hate it or I love it reception from most players, but the exploration is still fun. It's like Fallout, although how VATS is implemented, the lag, and how quests in the story is handled are some of my complaints so far. I'm certainly disappointed for what Fallout 76 is right now, and I think many others are in the same boat. On Reddit right now, there is a post on the game subreddit that is gaining tons of traction. It's at the top of the page. It's titled, The State of Fallout 76 is Beyond Unacceptable. With with over 6,000 upvotes and 91% of people upvoting the post. Now the Reddit user DJ Orange Joe says that the first five hours have been fun, but I've had no less than 12 crashes on my PlayStation 4. We've had several instances of quests being bugged beyond belief, one of which is the Prickett's Fort token dispenser, just not even being a model, but an uninteractable texture. This was apparently acknowledged by Bethesda because it was bugged during the beta and still has not been fixed. We had another side mission, Cold Case Break, because we were playing in a team and only the party leader could actually do the quest and see the items. And then this happened again on about two other missions. Enemies seem to spawn in at random, item models don't load in, the audio doesn't work correctly which means that someone shooting from a mile away sounds up close at times. The pathfinding of the AI always seems to make them get stuck on something. We ended up taking out the Grafton monster who is 25 levels above us because he got stuck on a ledge and then refused to even do this ranged attack. And we've had similar problems with basic ghouls as well. Going to the comment section, many are also pointing out the issue with Bethesda having a beta two weeks before launch because many of the issues have not been resolved. One of the top user responses with over 3,400 upvotes says, In all honesty, Fallout 76 was released 12 to 18 months too soon. It's almost as if they got to the QA stage and said, you know what, screw it. People are going to buy it anyway, so why bother? It really shows. And another user with 800 plus upvotes adds, With the realization that unfinished games can still print money, example, 
example, Ark and PUBG, Bethesda likely realized they could be making money now to subsidize the growth of their engine through active player feedback, through the data collected from always online play. Regardless of the success of 76, Bethesda is now collecting a ton of data on how players interact with their games, where they need to focus, and where they don't need to focus, all subsidized by the player itself. They don't have to feature complete or bug-free to sell more content too. This is probably why they don't allow private servers right now, that sweet, sweet player data bought and paid for by players, which will be used as QA for future titles. I fully expect a lot of new features, oops, we broke it messages, and quiet removal of players hated. It's entirely smart from a company viewpoint. They can even have B-Team Bethesda do it with little concern about overall quality as it's a spin-off title. It's the natural conclusion of a data economy working its way into gaming, and the fact most people will have a low enough bar to buy it. Now, all of this anger and disappointment from gamers is why the game is being review bombarded right now. I've said it from the beginning, I question the decisions Bethesda made with Fallout 76, and I personally feel that this game exists to make boatloads of money for years to come. The average consumer won't be paying attention to review scores, they'll see a new Fallout game and pick it up, which is likely the real audience Bethesda wants to have playing this game for the next few years. Anyway, I know I've been extremely critical of Bethesda, and it's because I think that they can do better than Fallout 76. If EA or any other developer released a game with so many issues and controversy beforehand, they would be destroyed by their players, but for some reason, a lot of the issues with Bethesda games seem to get ignored or downplayed, and I just hope people like Todd Howard and Pete Hines are paying attention to the feedback many are giving right now. Years ago, Bethesda to Game Studios was arguably the most beloved developer in gaming. Things certainly have changed. I mean, just look at that one user theory on data collection. People really have lost trust in this company with conspiracy theories like that, which likely will have an effect on future games like Starfield and even The Elder Scrolls VI. Now, I don't believe Bethesda has evil intentions like some believe, but moving forward, I think it will be an uphill battle for the company. They've made mistakes with Fallout 76, particularly the communication from the start was just is bad, and I can only hope that they learn from this. Fallout 76, I don't believe, is a game that is terrible, like some are saying and reviewing. It's, in my opinion, so far alright, but I think we all know that this developer can do better. And maybe with a longer development, things could have been improved and better. Anyway, that's just my two cents, and I want to know, are you enjoying or even playing Fallout 76? Let me know down in the comment section below. But thank you for watching, make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video, or found any informative value, and consider subscribing for more videos videos like this, and I'll see you later.